and welcome to the Dumber Than Dirt podcast. This is the first episode, um, <laughs> I guess we'll name it Dirt Dumb. <laughs> so far, there's been a bunch of random shit going on, and it's been pretty the funny. The Dirty Dummies. The Dirty Dummies. So far, it's been pretty funny. So, we're gonna try and make up shit as we go. We don't exactly have any time for prepping. Um, we'll start off with Panther, I guess. Uh... Go ahead and do whatever you're gonna do. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down there, giggles. <laughs> I should not be sitting near Such him. Such Yeah. Should not be sitting here. <laughs> Oh, you he's, be over there. He's, he's gonna get splash. Hey, just he's there. gonna get splash damage from you. <laughs> oh, damage 150. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I guess Yo, the topic. Dude, I'm, doing the mix I'm mixing the bowl. The first topic is I guess gonna be fuck you energy. That's the only thing I can oh. think of as of right <laughs> now. Well, then you should look at me. I was. Oh, oh. Don't Waiting. Me. Well, fuck you, energy. I was I was masturbating. Not that type of fuck you, energy. Like <laughs> somebody said something to you and you say, you know what? Fuck you. Or something. I mean, fuck. <laughs> just start I'm up trying this trying video for everybody to be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm normally a passive aggressive person. <laughs> Somebody, for the love of God, say something! <laughs> Alright, hold on. Here. Category. That's not my category. I can't help you there. Toxic, I got something for you. Why does he look like he's... Oh, Karen is getting eaten by a bitch Freddy. <laughs> don't worry about it, alright? I don't know. He looks like, like Karen, like a straight-up Karen. <laughs> I, I will molest you. Lucky Bring, you it. Bring it. Bring it. Hail the third! No! 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 <laughs> I took a picture. I did not mean to. <laughs> Rock beats scissors. I have a fucked up controller. I cannot put my freaking <laughs> hand down. I cannot switch to a normal hand because my down arrow is fucked. This man is doing black power over here and this man is whiter than a ghost. <laughs> You wanna talk about this? I'm confused! Well, what I can, what I can say is, we got Freddy, modern day American, this, we got a Nazi, and we got you. You two should not be sitting next to each other at the time zone. Your outfit is based off- well, My outfit, outfit is based, based off of D-Day. Of Yours is based off of 1942. 6th of June 1944! <laughs> Except the helmet looks like a fucking pot helmet. So it's probably a British man. Oh, real quick. I guess some. Fuck off. I guess, I guess some to talk. <laughs> Say it already! So, I was watching a video earlier today, right? Yeah. If you know the video of what I'm gonna talk about, you should know this. This guy was with his buddy going to get ready to drink, but he's like, hold on, let me go to my house and grab something real quick. He comes out with a fucking AT4. What the fuck? Degeneration X! What the but, fuck, Raker? But the thing was, he went to a bar, like, the, the AT4 is not loaded, he went to a bar, two armed security officers went next to him and they they immediately started trying to talk to the security officer like oh it's it's not it's not loaded it's just a prop or something like that he's like yeah what are we gonna do about it it's a bazooka we can't do anything that's that's way b beyond our pay grade <laughs> <laughs> so they just went right to the bar <laughs> just imagine them shotgunning the shotgunning their drinks through the bazooka <laughs> just with the at4 just right over the shoulder just da -da 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 -da. <laughs> slam <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Bruh, he needs to be... I've never seen... Like, he should be in the gas chamber. Somebody goes yeah, he should. <laughs> <God. laughs> Sprick and see dick! 
buddy. That's what I can see, dude. His, uh, his father is he's a he's a marine, right? This yeah. got an M82 law in this motherfucker's like. You're talking, and, right? Not him. Yeah, I'm talking. As soon as you walk into this motherfucker's garage, look to your right, and there's a fucking M82 law bazooka. You just pull that bitch apart. Like, a law 66 anti-tank rocket launcher. It fucking expands, and that motherfucker has a missile and everything, but he just doesn't put it together. It's like, what the fuck? This jerky tastes odd. It's like, what allows you to continue to have a bazooka? Oh, it's got black pepper in it. That's why it tastes odd. <laughs> What allows you to keep a bazooka? Like, Just imagine if black pepper was actually well, black see, pepper. You can actually keep a bazooka because it's just a aluminum tube. That's it. Well, he aluminum has a tube with a. For it. What if black pepper was I don't know actual? How to that one. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like he has a rocket in his ammo making area. Like there's a whole ass rocket. What if black don't get pepper on bad side. was actually yeah, black but... pepper? It is black. You better not shake me! Oh my god. <laughs> Keep that me away happens. from that salt. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me away from that white motherfucker! <laughs> Where's my gat? Give me my gat, I need to go drive up to somebody. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't know either. Well, we're just moving on as we go, and I'm eating jerky. Uh, I'm vaping and drinking Gatorade. <laughs> Power Gatorade. Powerade real quick. <laughs> Powerade, Gatorade, Bud Light. <laughs> I see Kevin's actively drinking. I can see it. Bud, Bud Light. It's Bud Light. Chief's drunk. Uh, sadly enough, no. Oh, Cooler Light. Cooler Light. Right. Collapse with your head on the table. You suck. You're drinking piss water. Yeah. Well today, well me and my dad were out there drinking, bruh. I was drinking Budweiser, that shit go down. <sighs> first one, first one tastes like ass, but after that they do. God damn, man! Fuck. <laughs> so, I was wa I was walking to the bar one night, got super drunk, you know what I'm saying? And like all of a and all of a sudden, I wake up from the party with barbecue sauce on my titties. What the fuck? And I'm super drunk. Got a super hung. I got super hungover. Yeah, it, it didn't feel good. So. Ah, oh, now my left hand is like all soaked in cooler light. What are you doing with that gun? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hit I hit Chewy over the head with my fucking bottle that I had. <laughs> oh, so got a story. I don't finally. I random. So I told you this. I told you this. I have not told you guys this story. Oh me hell yeah! Went... Well, I'm actually surprised it landed where it did. So, me and my family went to, uh, my, my sister's, <laughs> my sister's brother's ranch to help him out with the branding, right? Mm-hmm. My other sister's fiancé pulled up in his truck and guess how many c cases of beer he had. This motherfucker had eight cases of beer in the back of the truck. What the fuck? Sounds like a good day. Me and him went through all of them. Of just straight coolers, like me and him went through all of them. We got a call fresh coolers lot. And the thing was, me and him was not drunk. Fuck. Hey, uh, Panther, to your left. Want a pizza? Nah, it's Supreme. I can't have Supreme. That's Son of a bitch. Yeah. Any left? No, sadly. Oh wait, pizza to your right. Behind you. There you go. I like how no, midway- oh that's- no, uh, here, somebody take- oh well, fuck it, I'll just eat it. Down here, I got you. 
here's a piece. Oh, it fell on the floor. Pizza. All right. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Death. What do you have a? What What story do you have when you're? That's exciting. Well. Boo! Story, Where's my whiskey I'm glass? Sorry. I just realized that. I wish I would. I wish I had some whiskey right now. I think we all do. I, I've never had it before. I, so this dream, I uh, had a dream that I was uh, uh, Hitler's second command. Okay, are you just doing this because you're wearing a German suit? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Not any yeah. modern. No modern. Not any World War II ship brought into this if it includes the Nazis. Great, hey, might be historically accurate. Break. <laughs> and hashtag demonetized. And hashtag cancelled. This man, this man is too deep in the character. Starts asking questions. Where's the train to Auschwitz? I, I vote not to have him on the podcast again. What? This, no! This, this should be the uh, special guest seat. <laughs> He's a special guest, literally special. I am Seth Rogen in a Nazi World War II outfit. Are you sure about that? Damn. <laughs> hey, uh, Death, get out here real quick and take off that freaking. I want to see that uniform you gave him. Oh, you didn't give him shit. <laughs> no, I want him to take it off. <laughs> so, are we still recording? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, what do you have as a story, Gunnery? Probably don't have shit. What about you, Toxic? Uh, well, uh... Go ahead, Gunnery. What, 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 what are we looking for? What are we looking for in this story? Anything. Just anything that's interesting. Did I ever tell you? Did I have ever tell you guys a story how I uh, basically broke a kid's nose in middle school? I am here to listen. Where the hell's the host? There he is. <laughs> so, I was uh, bullied in middle school. Uh, one of the one of the students would constantly walk past my friend and I, and would uh, pretty much shoulder check us up against our lockers every day. Uh, teacher. There was a classroom right next to us, and teacher always saw it, never said a thing. Uh, principal wouldn't do a thing. Talk to my dad now. My, for a story for another time, my dad can be a hard ass at times. Uh, pretty much. Look at me, told me, I told him what was going on, he looked at me and said, do what I would do. Said, I'm like, okay. So, uh, the next week at school, the kid came up and I witnessed him shoulder chuck my friend up against the locker. And whenever he came up to do it to me, I sidestepped outwards. He, his shoulder went into my locker, and then I grabbed him by the back of the head and smashed his face into it. Now that's a story. Uh, the, funny, fu the funniest, hold on, the funniest part though, was the teacher looked at me, grabbed the phone off the hook, and I looked at her and said, what, go ahead. All those times that he's done it, he all all those times he's done shit to us, and you never said a thing or did anything. She set the she set the phone back on the hook, closed the door, and sat down at her desk. <laughs> Best teacher ever. <laughs> Stupidest teacher ever. I was literally like leaning back that entire time. Yeah, I could see that. My story has nowhere near that, and it involves me busting my head open in kindergarten. So here we go. I was about to say, I kind of have another Appa fight story kind of like that. One second. So, I'm in kindergarten. Same. It's a short story. I uh, wanted to grab my frogs that I painted and colored with scribbles and shit from the ceiling. 
I stood on top of a table, lost balance, fell off the table, and smacked the back of my head against one of those U-shaped tables. And busted my head open. Well, I have one, I'll tell you the one about me busting my head open then. Um, in fourth grade, Rutland Elementary, there was a, um, like, school dance kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I stayed after, and um, me and my buddies we were fucking around, and we went under the school bleachers, and I stood up, and I literally cut down to my skull from where one of the edges of the bleachers was so sharp, it literally cut down. Uh, I was gushing blood, and I had no idea, because we was all fucking around still. Uh, my principal seemed, like, li liquid dripping from my face onto my forehead, and she called me over to the um, bleachers, so I went and sat down. My head just started gushing blood, like, my hair was completely wet, you know, red. And she calls my dad and shit at the time. He didn't have a car, so my, and my stepmom was at work, so he had to walk down to Rutland, which wasn't that far. It literally was around the corner and then a straightaway, not even a mile away, right? Mm -hmm. So he gets there. I'm fucking gushing blood, uh, talking about stitches and shit. Um, I didn't. I never went to the hospital and got stitches, surprisingly. Um, I went home, so like my principal, she offered me, she was, like gave us a ride home. I fucking get home. I didn't feel any pain until as soon as my dad put me in the fucking shower with hot ass water to disinfect it. That shit hurt so goddamn I bad. know that feeling. Chewy, I know that feeling. Do you know why? Why? Alright, well first, are you done with your story so I can tell this one? Yeah. So, I was about seven years old at the time. Visiting my biological father. And at night, this entire neighborhood decided to get into like a neighborhood game of hide and seek. All the doors are open, all the back alleyways were open, everything. But there's a lot of gravel driveways. Keep this in mind. It'll come later on in the story. So, me and my biological father, we teamed up saying, hey, we'll work together. I'll ride on your shoulders, dad, uh, dad. And because you are a faster runner. I see one of the people coming around the corner. I let him know. He picks me up immediately. Starts running across, like, five, five yards. This one driveway. I remember this one because I worked on this driveway. It was still loose of gravel. Like, it hasn't settled in or anything. So, and there's a tree stump on the other side. So, pretend this microphone, if someone is listening to it for your audio, I'm sorry for this. But, here's the stump. We The driveway is about a good distance. Like, you can fit three cars between it. He ran, slipped. My head went straight into it, bearing Brock's into my skull. And he sat there for three hours digging rocks out of my skull with tweezers. <laughs> it was not fun. I think the worst childhood memory I ever had was when I went to audition for um, Donaldson Warriors. And there was this giant patch of um, fucking points and ivy behind like a registration place. Mm -hmm. And after after we did practice, because I didn't even have shoes or cross, like the only thing I had on was sandals. I didn't even plan on trying out for football because it was we was only going to get my brother re-signed up, right? Um, so after that, we're all fucking around by the registration building, and then me and my brother are fucking around. He hit me a little too hard, and I fell straight into the poison oak, right? Mm -hmm. Literally, my whole body is covered in that shit, and I y'all know what a bleach bath is? No oh, god. Yes. Dude, it irritates your skin so bad when you have poison One second, Johnny, what the it, fuck are you doing? Because it's literally just drying it all out. And your right skin back. gets so irritated. <laughs> like, you, could, you you sit into, like, a half bleach, half water type mixture for, like, ten minutes. And then just swap back to regular water. Dude, that shit fucking dries your skin out like a motherfucker. But it'll get it rid of that does. It... It'll, it'll get rid of that poison ivy slash poison oak, though. It will, yeah, it will. Uh, I don't know if you, if your parents did it or your legal guardians did it or whatnot. I have had that incident happen to me, but it, they added bleach, vinegar, and uh, potato soup or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's um, fuck, tomato. What is it? Is it tomato? Tomato, yeah, it's tomato. 
Oh, shit, it, yeah. Tomatoes supposed to like if you get sprayed by a stunk, you so yeah. you soak yourself in tomato soup and whatnot. But no, oh no, I think it was uh, fuck. What is it? It was like also mixed with rice water I, as well. Yeah, I like how Yumi are just talking. They're just there. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to say something for the past like several minutes or so, but I can't. All right, then go, go. All right, so I got this one story, yeah. and it's more of a um, I got screwed in the morning and screwed in the afternoon because of it. So I woke up one day to go to school. I was in the sixth grade. I'm walking to the bus. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was on, like, medication at this time that helped me sleep, quote-unquote, and wake up, which was the worst decision ever. I am halfway asleep. I go to walk up the stairs to the bus. I walk up the first step, trip, fall down, out of the bus, on my ass. <laughs> Proceed to get on the bus, getting laughed at. Then, after I finally got home, I went to step off the bus, Stepped down, missed a step, slid down, my foot bent backwards, like my leg, like my knee bent backwards, my right leg drug against every single fucking stair, my left leg went out and pretty much cleared the entire fucking thing, so I almost did the splits, and a bunch of gravel went straight to my knee. That'll probably explain why I have knee problems like my father, but that fucking sucked. I just realized Gunnery probably just left permanently, kind of thing. Like, I don't know. He yeah. left. He said he'd be back. He left. I don't know what he did, but yeah. Um, before we end this episode of the Dumber Than Dirt podcast, Death, do you have anything you want to say before the end of this first episode? Since you are a special guest. You and Chewie. Well, actually, there's. No, he stays. You go. What do you mean he stays and you go? <laughs> Gregor didn't have no interesting stories. Oh, I, I grabbed the bottle, what the fuck? I'm trying to join back, I'm having bottle. issues. Hang on, I'll get you. Gregor, add me as a friend, motherfucker. So. Alright, well... Yeah. I was once invited to a uh, show on TV called Naked oh. and Nervous. <laughs> naked and Nervous? Don't you I've seen that show. Afraid? Yeah. yeah. Except when did my watch turn? Yeah. Except it was what? Wait, yeah, our armband changed from orange to green. Mine, mine was black. The fuck? You missed. And I wasn't trying know, to hit you, I was trying to hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it just happened to be we're on Nude Beach. You know where this is going? Mm -mm. Alright, well. You were a part of ner Naked and Afraid, I'm guessing. At that point. N naked and nervous, yes. Naked and afraid, naked and nervous. Alright, well, there's a bunch I of dudes that were, uh... What, guys? Spreading... I got it, I got it, I got it. That were, uh, doing some other stuff on, uh... On, uh, the beach. And, uh, I got really nervous, and... I said, fuck this, you know. But the producer made me stay out there. So as what as what I did is I uh, I punched him in the face and I said "fuck you," I quit. And and then uh, and then I played this song in the background. You could take this job and shove it. I've actually done that once at my other job. Oh, if I only you to. were actually here to tell the story, Gunny. But. I'm trying to get in. Uh, so the, he keeps telling one. me there's an error. There was this time where I worked at uh, this place called Slim Chickens. It had just been built up. I was one of the first. I'm pretty sure black people don't go there. About what? well, it's new. It's pretty damn good. I will say it's probably the best fast food chicken restaurant I've ever had. Like no joke. Like uh, okay, then they probably do go there. There was this one Brought you empowered by Portland. Colonel Sanders. Black this people black chicken. Motherfucker. This was back when I was still a senior in high school, right? He would, he, this man was 22, hitting on 16, 17, and 18, year, like 16 and 17 year olds that was working at a fast food job. Uh, he tried to do it to my fiance and I, I almost stabbed his ass for it. So I, I was already in a bad mood one Damn. morning, right? Me and my stepmother had a giant argument and I woke up, I punched my headboard, my hand is bleeding, right? Yeah, like I still have scars on my knuckles from it, it poor decision. Um, 
just had to let out some anger before I went to work, right? Well, for two weeks I have told them, please, please change my schedule. I cannot work with Cortland no more. If you do, I will fucking eventually snap if I have a bad day and I come in. Well, uh, that was that day. I had a bad day. He came in about an hour and a half later. He tried being buddy buddy with me. I was like, bruh, fucking quit. I know all the bullshit that you're doing. I don't fuck with pedophiles and I don't fuck with people who are trying to get with other people's teeth, like women behind their back. Um, and I had, I work with a knife in my hand right next to the motherfucker and he kept trying to be buddy buddy. I was like, alright, Jose, I can't fucking do it. If he says another word to me, I'm gonna fucking stab him. I'm either gonna beat his ass because I just turned 18 and I'm gonna catch an assault charge or you know what? Fuck you. I'm out. And I called my stepmother. I was like, hey, I need a fucking ride. And I just walked the fuck out. Damn. <clears throat> yep. Uh, Gunny, I guess I tell your story if it's not... Leave. If it's not letting you come back, Gunny, just go ahead and tell your story real quick. I'm about to join back. I'm, I just had to close... I just closed the game. I'm coming back. Okay. I was about to say, after two weeks of that shit, though, of not... I'm not changing the schedule or anything. Like, I, I told you I could work any time. Just change the fucking schedule, bro. Mm-hmm. Not that hard. Just change some numbers in a fucking computer. Change the numbers. Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> Raker, look at me. So I guess this... I. I guess this is gonna be like one of those uh, podcasts, like the first episode where we're kind of like introducing like our backstory kind of thing? Pretty much, I guess, yeah. Yep. And trying to think of stuff as we go, and the second episode will hopefully be better. <laughs> I'm just, I'm mainly worried about what this, all the shit that was said at the beginning from I Wonder Who. <laughs> this motherfucker over here talked about the Third Reich. The yeah. I do believe it should be fine, though. I mean, if people fucking hate it, they can grow the fuck up, but... Well, I mean, there's a lot worse stuff on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, have you ever looked up One Man, One Jar? No, one I have not, jars. and I do not want to, and do not give right. the people ideas. Folks, folks, right. do not... If you're under the age of 18, do not look up that video. You'll be scarred for life. And if you do, that is completely your fault. We did not tell you to. That is but by your I own decision. I have a similar story yeah, to tell. No, oh, shut up. Oh, dear God. I, I, yeah, so... I... So, <laughs> I was told I was told a pretty funny um like I got this a was a pretty back funny there. reality show that like, I the cord is fucking right here and it's driving me insane. There's a I I I was gonna create a really good reality <laughs> Ow, show my finger. called Squeal or No Squeal and that's what and what, and what that is is I some played it before gets gets dropped off in the Ozark Mountains with two deliberate horny hillbillies coming after his signed in. And he has to make it to his truck and escape him. You sure you want to keep him in here? What you sure you can't it? just be like a visitor? What do you call a virgin in Alabama? A redhead? Redneck? A redhead? A Virginian? A, a Virginian? I think they run faster than her brother. What do you okay. call... Uh, just oh, hang on, Death. <laughs> Gunny, how long until you're able to join? It's giving me an unknown error loading room. Okay, well, tell your story, then we can get the first episode done. That way we don't have to worry about waiting on you to join up and tell it. Alright, well, I was working at a warehouse, and, uh, I made friends. I was working as a, uh, um... <clears throat> I was working for a company that you didn't work for just one place. You could be sent anywhere. Um, um military. <laughs> um, I I wasn't just stuck to one warehouse. I could work at multiple other warehouses if I wanted to. Well, the warehouse that I worked at the most, they um, I made friends with the actual warehouse manager of my shift <laughs> and he uh I became good friends with him and he came to me one day he says you know you reached your 200 hours but yet you haven't applied to work here full time 
I said, to be completely honest, I said, I have another job that's getting ready to possibly come through. I just, once I get the okay, all I have to do is fill out an application, and I'm basically hired. <clears throat> so he, he said, he's like, so you're telling me I've spent all this time to, spent all this time letting you work here just for you to turn around and leave. I said, don't get me wrong, I said, I would like to work here. I said, it's a nice place, I enjoy the people, but I don't want to turn around, get hired on just to turn around and leave. Toxic look. So I brought an application in the, the next day and he's like, all right, well, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, you, you can use me as a reference. He wrote down his information. I said, I will tell you, I will, see, I will put in my two weeks notice. <laughs> I will put in, I'm like, even though I don't work here full time, I will put in my two weeks notice before I leave. And, uh, I came, my last day there, I, um, I walked into his office, and, uh, I, I said, Ryan, I just wanted to tell you uh, that it was my last day, and I wanted to tell you bye for the last time. He said, all right. He says, well, it's been a pleasure working for you. And then, uh, I shook his hand, walked out, and I'm like, oh, wait. Pulled out my phone. I said, hey, Ryan, I just got one thing to tell you before I go. He said, what's that? And I played it and says, take this job and shove it. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, get for you no more. He, he looked at me and said, get the fuck out of my warehouse. <laughs> but he, he did it with a giant grin on his face, though, which was the funny part. Yeah. You were a good worker for him, at least, so. Alright, and with that being said, that will mark the end of the first episode for the Dumber Than Dirt podcast. Uh, apologies to Gunny for not being able to make it back into the uh, podcast room, but he's having a bit of technical difficulties with his rec room at the moment, so he wouldn't be able to make it back right now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if any of you guys got offended by this time, and if you stuck around this long, it's just a podcast. Nothing is meant to offend anyone or any shit like that, so take it with a grain of salt. We're and here thank to you to our special fun. guest to visit us just the one time and never again. <laughs> Apparently so, then. Thank you to Chewy and Deathraker for part being a part of it as well. It originally started out with me, Gunny, and I think mainly me, Gunny, and Kevin. I don't know if uh, Sarge is was included. Which, I know that's you. Which is me. No, but, they uh, don't. Well, they don't, but now they do. But uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy. I already said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's late at night. I'm repeating the same shit. But we will see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments if y'all do like the Dumber Than Dirt podcast shit that we do, and we will keep doing more of it. Even if y'all don't like it, we will still do more of it. See you next time.